welcome to Inside Redemption. My name is Luke Simmons. I'm one of the pastors at Redemption Church Gateway. And with me today are Kirsten Traina and Chris Amaro. Kirsten is the director of our Redemption-wide foster care kinship and adoption ministry. And Chris is one of the lead pastors at Redemption West Mesa and has personally been super involved uh, with these issues related to foster care kinship and adoption. And so uh, thanks for doing this, guys. Yeah, glad to be here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, why is this such a key thing to the heart of God? Well, I mean, I think with the gospel, you see that God cares about lost people. God's about redemption. God's (laughs) about restoration. God's about healing brokenness. This world's not the way it's supposed to be. And so he even adopts us into his family, right? And and so adoption is just this glorious picture. Well, and it seems, I mean, I think we'd like to believe that because it's so close to the heart of God, if we get involved with this, it'll all just be smooth sailing. So there's all the logistical stuff, like I bought this smaller car and now I need a bigger one. I I gotta get licensed. And then all the the emotional (laughs) challenges of that, that all feels weightier than I think maybe folks who just want to make a difference, Mm -hmm. maybe have a, maybe it's harder to count the cost. Are there any other surprises? I think it's all a surprise. (laughs) I just think there are a lot of families that want to love kids and see this as a call and they want to do that. And so we really try to just be really honest and say, it's really hard. Mm. Like you're entering into brokenness and it is inextricably combined. Like, Mm. um, Like when you look even at the cross, you see that we only get life when Jesus dies for us. Like Mm. you can't separate those. Mm. I don't get life if he doesn't die. And when you look at the brokenness and the the pain of foster care and adoption, someone loses. Mm -hmm. And so there's a weight that you carry. I think you have to, and this is one thing that's really important, is that we really push the value of every person that's involved, like a birth mom that made a bad choice. Mm. When you look at her history and you find out that she was removed as a baby from her family, Mm. it's just systemic generational Mm. patterns that that are just broken. And that's, you get to play this beautiful role of watching God step in and crush those barriers. Mm. Um, but it's still a it's still a crushing. Well, I just wanna thank those of you who are engaged in foster mm-hmm. care, kinship and adoption. And I wanna encourage you, um, what you're doing is important. And uh, we're so thankful that you're doing it, whether you are fostering uh, or whether you've adopted, maybe you're someone who's helping support those who are, maybe you're doing respite care, maybe you're just uh, helping provide resources, but thank you for doing that. Thank you for continuing to do it. And I hope you'll keep praying, pray for Kirsten, uh, pray for our other congregations as we seek to just honor Jesus and display the gospel uh, through loving the vulnerable and the least of these, just like God loves us, we wanna love the people God puts in our path. So thanks so much. 